It was a thing of great horror for everyone at the carnival that day. No one expected to witness young Elizabeth get her entire scalp ripped off her head by a carnival ride. What was meant to be just another fun day at the carnival would quickly turn into something devastating that ended with a little girl completely mutilated and unrecognizable. Where's my pretty hair, Lulu asked, without knowing she had lost much more than her beautiful red curls. At age 11, she became the victim of a freak accident so ghastly that she needed a complete reconstruction of her scalp. Her doctors even speculated that she might never see again. But what really happened to her on that ride? Was she able to beat the odds? And did she ever get her normal life back? This is the tragic tale of 11-year-old Elizabeth Gilreath and how a trip to the carnival permanently transformed her life forever. The morning of May 7th began like any other, only this one was full of excitement. 11-year-old Elizabeth Lulu Gilreath, her mother Virginia Cooksey, and her friend Ashana Allen had planned a trip to the carnival, which was going to be amazing. The family resided in Omaha, Nebraska, and going to the carnival on a Saturday was the ideal, if not the best way, to spend the day. The weather was lovely and warm, as it usually is in Omaha at that time of year. Everyone was delighted to visit the carnival, set up to celebrate the Cinco de Mayo festival. However, little did they know that this would cost them far more than they bargained for. Cinco de Mayo, also known as Battle of Puebla Day, is a holiday that celebrates the victory of the Mexican army over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. This holiday isn't such a big deal in Mexico, Still, in the United States, especially in places with a lot of Mexican-Americans, it became a day to celebrate Mexican culture and history. The day went off without a hitch, with laughter and applause filling the air as one would expect from a carnival. The corn was popping, the sweet smell of cotton candy filled the noses of passers-by, and kids giggled as they skidded about. The sound of terrified yet excited riders could be heard from the rides. Everything was in full swing, but catastrophe lurked just around the corner for the merry bunch. It all began when Lulu and Ashane wanted to go on the King's Crown, a classic spinning teacup ride. The ride whirled people around at a rapid pace and appeared to be a lot of fun for both those riding and those watching and cheering from the sidelines. However, their cheers would soon turn to cries for help as the day came to a bloody end. Around 1.30 p.m., Lulu and her friend boarded the ride which was packed with excited riders. The crowd roared as the girls and others took their seats, eager to be whisked around. The pair were having so much fun that Ashane even brought out her phone to record a video of Lulu that they would watch and giggle about later. She had no idea that would be the last video she would see of a healthy and vibrant Lulu. The ride began and both riders and bystanders applauded as the cup sped up and spun rapidly. Lulu had been looking forward to this ride for a long time. This would be her first time and she could hardly wait. Although the fast pace of the ride would make them dizzy and slightly nauseous, they didn't care as the adrenaline rushing through their veins would make up for it. Things were going well. Everyone was seated and buckled in, waiting for it to start, but then just as the ride began, the shouts of excitement were replaced by screams, and horror befell the once joyous onlookers. At first, a single, shrill cry came from someone on the ride, but once the people around saw what had happened, it quickly rippled into complete chaos. The King's Crown ride had just started when Elizabeth's red curls got caught in a spinning mechanism, making her scream in pain. When recounting the story later, Ashane said there was nothing anyone could do. All they could do was call for the attendant to switch off the ride. Stop the ride. Stop the freaking ride, Ashane said, as she sprung up from her seat, frantically screaming for help. Terror filled her eyes as she watched Lulu's hair coil and twist in the machine's engines, ripping her scalp clean off her head. Later on, the park surveillance showed a video of the ride's conductor running away from the scene. Jolene Cisneros, a mom who had witnessed the entire thing, said that despite her screams, the attendees did nothing.
The ride lasted for another 10 minutes, tangling Lulu's hair further. Jolene, who had been yelling, stop the ride, eventually brought the vehicle to a halt by holding it with her hands. It was still spinning, she said. I had to stop it with my hands and turn it to the point where it was on the platform. I was like, you're going to be okay. And she just said, where's my pretty hair? Jolene went on to add that Elizabeth was bleeding and then lost consciousness. Lulu's mom, on the other hand, was absolutely mortified. I just wanted to get to my daughter, she said. I wanted to know she was okay and well cared for. She's 11 years old. No 11-year-old should have to go through this. Meanwhile, her father commented on the incident. It went on for five to ten minutes, everybody told me, while it ripped and pulled my daughter around. She was tortured. But what actually happened? Apparently, when Elizabeth was tossed from her seat onto the floor, her hair got caught in the ride's spinning mechanism, ripping it from her head, fracturing her skull, and causing damage to both of her eyes according to WOWT News, Omaha. The accident was terrible, and the injuries sustained were horrible. She was rushed to the hospital, where she underwent surgery. When she arrived in the ER, she was in critical condition. She remained sedated while the doctors worked to save her life. Lulu's scalp was reconstructed with skin grafts from different parts of her body. She also underwent surgery on one eye and had several blood transfusions. The craziest part was that after the surgery, the doctors put leeches in a tube and attached it to her skull to prevent her from bleeding out. However, once the procedures were complete, the doctors were unsure if her muscles would work or if she would ever see again. But Lulu beat all the odds, and even though it took some time, she was able to make a shocking recovery. Elizabeth's story was particularly touching. This girl was a fighter, a warrior who refused to give up. Despite all that she had been through, she still managed to stay positive, even when she had every reason to cry. Her bubbly personality never wavered once. The first time she saw herself in the mirror, she smiled, and according to her mother, Virginia, this was enough to bring her to tears. Lulu is stronger than me, she said. My baby girl saw herself for the first time today. The way she handled it gave me strength. And when speaking about it in an interview a year later, Elizabeth said, My scars don't define me, and nobody's scars should define them. And even though she said she loved her long red hair because of its length, it didn't take long for it to grow back long enough to be packed into a ponytail. Following the tragedy, the Nebraska Department of Labor began investigating whether anything went wrong with the ride on that day or whether Lulu's injuries were caused by the staff's carelessness. The agency says that there was no proof that any part of the ride malfunctioned, or that the operator wasn't paying attention. Everything happened by chance. The community came together to help little Elizabeth. They raised more than $60,000 on GoFundMe to pay her medical bills, and asked the state to change its policy of checking carnival rides only once a year. Lulu eventually made a full recovery and would appear in several interviews describing her predicament. She has said she would never go on another ride in her life.